Hello again, everybody. Chris McGinnis here. It is Friday, October 23rd, and we are exactly a week away from Rocky Horror Halloween weekend beginning with two performances by the Sweet Translucent Dreams that weekend. On that note, quick announcement regarding the Friday performance. I probably mentioned in an earlier video that Friday, October 30th, we would be performing at Bentley's of Northeast Pennsylvania. Well, Bentley's decided to pull in our sinus college on us. Let me explain. January of 2007, Shikara Pro was scheduled to have an event somewhere on campus at Ursinus College. About a week or two before the event was supposed to happen, someone at Ursinus said, you know what, that's not happening, sorry, we're canceling. So Shikara went to one of its usual venues, the VFW in Hellertown, for that event. That's kind of sort of what happened to us here. We were ready to, you know, go to Bentley's next week again, perform. Apparently, they went and canceled. Then they said they didn't want to cancel. And then they went and said that we were going to cancel again. So, no longer are we going to be at Bentley's. Instead, we're going to be performing at the, uh, I believe it's called Good Times Bar and Grill in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. And, uh, as usual, information for all that can be found at the website, which is www.stdrhps.com So, speaking of the performances, I know I focused on callbacks in a few episodes, so what I want to do is focus on another part of the audience participation, which is the props. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, you may be wondering, well, what exactly do you mean by props? Basically, that's the other half of the fun, that's the audience participation. Not only do you yell lines back at the film and the actors in the shadow cast, but you also throw crap at people. Preferably, other members of the audience. Specifically, and especially, other versions in the audience. Please don't throw it at the screen or the actors. Movie screens are expensive, and actors can get violent. Consider yourself warned. Anyway. The main props that you will want to have for a performance would be rice, newspaper, confetti, and toast. Now, let me explain. These are not things that you just throw around willy-nilly, randomly, without cause or rhyme or reason. There are exact times where you must throw this stuff or use this stuff. Oh, and toilet paper. How could I forget toilet paper? Anyway. <coughs> first prop you will use is rice. As I mentioned in the previous video, the movie begins after a musical prologue by a disembodied pair of lips begins with a wedding. And once the wedding party comes rushing out of the church, that's when you throw the rice. Sim sounds simple enough, right? I hope so. Newspaper. A little later in the film, Brad and Janet are driving and their car gets a flat tire. They decide to seek shelter at a castle and hopefully use its phone. It's raining that night and Janet does not have an umbrella with her. So she opts to use the newspaper she's reading as cover. When she puts the newspaper over her head to cover herself, you should do likewise. Like so. I know this isn't a newspaper, it's a Entertainment Weekly, but it's the only thing within reach of me that I could use for an example. Now, confetti that you use at the second wedding scene in the movie, which is the wedding of Frank and Rocky. As the wedding march plays and Frank leads Rocky to his bridal chambers, the audience on screen which is the rest of the Transylvanians start throwing confetti around in celebration. You should do the same at that point as well. The toilet paper. When Dr. Everett Scott makes his grand entrance through the laboratory wall, Brad Majors yells out, Great Scott! At this point, you are to throw your toilet paper through the air. Bonus points for you if you decide to bring Scott toilet paper. That makes it even funnier. And finally, the toast. There, there's a dinner scene. Everyone's gathered around the table, and in order to start off the festivities, Dr. Frankenfurter raises a glass and says, A toast! At which point, 
you flink the toast. And honestly, it's probably best that you don't eat the toast. It's possibly very burned, very stale, and lord knows how long ago it was made. So remember, the toast is not for eating, it's for throwing. And the rice, uncooked rice, please, I mean, I know that's probably common sense, because who would bring cooked rice to a performance and throw it around? I mean, that would be sticky and unpleasant, so uncooked rice only, please. Uh, I guess that's everything for this go-round. Uh, I guess just else on the notes of props, you could, you know, gather the props together yourself, or occasionally ca <coughs> excuse me, casts will be selling prop bags at their performances, usually for a buck or two. And if that's the case, support the cast and buy a prop bag. Or two. Or three. Or a dozen. Either way. Uh, that will do it for now. Uh, hopefully, uh, I will be back with a couple more of these before next week. And... Uh, I guess uh, that's all for now, so uh, happy time warping. <laughs>